Okay, it's that time again when Photoshop absolutely blows my mind. Uh, so well done. We're looking at uh, generative fill. And if you've been running the beta, um, you'll know that we've had this kind of generative uh, kind of bar that floats around the place for, <laughs> for pretty much a while now. Uh, but now it's kind of doing its job. So this is not the image uh, that I kind of took. This is the uh, image that I took. And um, basically within a few short kind of AI uh, points, parts, clicks, words, it's just kind of changed itself. And I thought we'd actually just do the first kind of review of it. So this is the only image that I've played around with. Okay, so um, it, it really has kind of been quite good fun. And I just thought, you know what, instead of learning any more about it, playing around, getting slick, let's just actually see what it's going to do. All right. Um, so first of all, um, how does it all work? Let's just get rid of those. And we'll just press the F12 key and we'll get back to as the image was shot. So the first thing would be is to uh, crop the image and make it bigger than it is. And then, you know, we kind of have been able to use this content aware fill for a while, but this is the generative fill. So if I don't want it to actually do anything except generate it, all I've got to do is click on generate. Don't need to put any words in. And basically Photoshop uh, said Sensei is going to look at it and basically do whatever it can based on what is in the image. So that's a good thing. Um, obviously, it's working really hard. Uh, but it's done a pretty good job. Of course, we've got the half a bike or the kind it looks like it's been written over, uh, ridden over by the bus anyway with it. But, you know, it's done a pretty good job. Look at that perspective coming through here and everything else. And we could always get rid of the actual bike and things. Anyway, um, really what I'm doing is kind of going, well, that's not really what I want to do. I want to go, OK, so let's just control Z that. We're back into here and let's now replace it with a build in corner. Uh, and this is literally how I kind of played around with it. So I thought, well, let's see the most common thing that I'm going to do. And for those of you who submit into my photo critiques um, every other week, uh, I don't think I'm ever going to believe an image ever again. Uh, uh, you know, we've seen AI around for a while now and everybody's using it in such a clever way and things really. But, you know, what it's doing here is from that Word, those words I gave, it's generated me a couple of options uh, for me to choose the best one and things really. So uh, again, uh, building corner bricks. Um, and just by putting that word bricks in there, will kind of uh, create a, a different version. It keeps the variations that was there, or that's what's happened when I played around with the image to begin with. Okay, so uh, it's kind of doing its job. Sorry if it takes a little bit of time in the kind of the generation. And I know you're eager to actually get off and have a little play, and I definitely encourage you. So uh, you can see already it's given me now a little bit of a, a variety, but of course I've still got the original one that it created. So let's just stay there for now, okay? Then I went, okay, what else? Let's uh, look at the hat. So I've just got the lasso tool. And we're going to go around the actual girl. You can be quite loose, in fact. You don't need to kind of be too precise. And in the generative fill, we're going to do a red hat. And then hit the generate. And then once more, you're going to spend your life watching that green bar kind of move up and down. And uh, this is working on a 6,000 pixel wide uh, image. So it's taking a bit of time. And you can see here... It's doing a, a pretty good effect. And of course, if you just hit it again, it's going to have another crack at another hat uh, to actually try and do the job for you. So if you're not pleased the first time, I literally just hit it again. Uh, and basically it created different ver versions once more. Come on. There we go. Okay, so uh, a few more options uh, for us to choose from. <laughs> it ignored me the red hat, uh, and basically it's uh, put a black one in there. It's actually mimicked the kind of the outfit that she's in as well. Okay, so let's look at replacing the coat, and let's just kind of really let's do that again, Mark Leghorn. 
as I said, you can be quite loose. And we're just going to go in to do um, a tank top or vest or whatever you want to do. Let's hit generate. We could have tried leather jacket, jean jacket. As I said, I think the going to be the clever part in this. We're going to have to actually uh, think about actually what the words specifically you want to put in there. Otherwise, we're going to end up in, you know, two years time with so many different variations. We'll never make up our mind. Um, <laughs> uh, you've got to laugh. You've got to laugh. It's absolutely amazing. Um, so very well done on that. OK. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Right, let's uh, just completely change the background like I did and had a little bit of fun. And we just go into her here. And then I'm just going to select and invert it. And what should we do? Um, I did uh, New York Street. How it would help if I push that there. So it could have been building street, bridge, landscape, uh, sea, seascape, uh, seascape or river with bridge, uh, uh, cityscape. You know, we, uh, I think those are the things where you've got to really think about what you're trying to composite together to actually create the new image. Uh, the key thing what I did was obviously invert the selection. So I selected around her and then I basically... Uh, clicked on the select inverse and we've kind of come up here and it's given us a, a little bit of variety. So I think that's uh, pretty clever in its own right. And um, obviously we can play around with that as long as we want. I haven't touched this image, so let's have a little go. So let's just select around him. And um, <laughs> I don't know what to put now. Um, select inverse. And we're going to do the generative fill and we're going to do city uh, scape with bridge. Why not? This is a 5,800 pixel wide image. So um, I haven't tried it with low resolution uh, images because obviously what's the point, even though it's going to save you a little bit of time perhaps, but you might not get the accuracy of the image and things really. Come on, you can do it. Okay, it's different. So it's not quite what I meant, but it is giving us a, a little bit of a, a, a more what was expected here anyway. So that's pretty cool. Let's just um, try the hat and let's just do red baseball cap. You know, we've we've seen this come in, haven't we? Um, and it really is the future of everything. We know that. And, and possibly as a professional photographer, you've been working more and more in the likes of Lightroom and and so on with it and things that did an amazing job there okay it's not a full red one but it's there it is kind of thing um or a little black dot there is it no it's got a little bit of tag but it's doing a pretty good job there but you know going back to what i was saying we've been expected this come in haven't we you know um this is a shot and i thought well let's have a look at that one let's shoot let's select down here and let's put in a car from above. Let's do red car moving from above. Generate. I, I can get lost in this like you can as well with it and things, you know, but when these fun and powerful tools come out for the first time, you're kind of a bit of a idiot if you don't have a little play around with it because you're just going to go, how can I use this in everyday photography and things really? Uh, as I said, I don't think I'm ever going to leave a photo critique image ever again now when they kind of come in, but I've still critiqued the image in front of me. 
So did that do anything? Oh, it's taking its time. Uh, okay, so it did a car from above. It's done another one. It's moving there. Okay, so that's pretty good, but I think it's a bit a bit too big. So what about if we put uh, cars instead of car, we remove the red. Let's do the cars move in from above. I think I spelt that wrong as well. So generate it again. And I'm sure there's going to be absolutely massive this because we're still in the beta. So remember, if you haven't updated your beta, just go to your Creative Cloud app and then you'll see an up update by the side. Just kind of click on that. And it usually takes about three or four minutes to actually kind of do the job. Uh, not as good, I don't think. Um, so kind of failed there. So that's all right. Um, let's go ahead and choose this guy. And again, let's go select inverse and let's do skate park. Seems to be going, oh, this is a lower resolution and this is only 1700 pixels, in fact. So it is working a lot quicker, obviously. Not sure what the finish will be like, though, because the lower pixel. Come on, Photoshop, you can do it. Don't even know if there's a skate park in it. Okay, didn't give me anything. Let's try again. So let's just move around him. Generate fill. This is going to be skate park. Generate. It's not helping, I don't think, because we've got all those other images still open in the background. And remember, all, all I've... <laughs> would help if I select an inverse <laughs> the selection right let's do it again shall we so let's generate a fill this is going to be the skate park <laughs> oh gosh it's a bank holiday uh this week uh coming in the UK with it <laughs> I better not get stuck in front of a computer playing around with this otherwise my family will be giving me grief and things but uh, it, it is it is fun to actually see. Oh, okay, that's pretty good. You know, um, perhaps it's not as good as far as the roads concerned. Let's just um, see what the alternatives are. Nothing really. So let's just put um, a different look. Then let's just do select inverse again, and we'll just type in uh, uh, woodland. generate bit disappointed there it didn't come up with skate park but perhaps i was just the f you know uh, uh trying to get too much too soon perhaps i could have put graffiti walls or something like that and that would have been pretty cool or yeah so okay it's it's done it's put a tree in so it's pretty cool um it's not really done much with the other image except just added in the wood on the side there so that could be to do with the resolution size and things really so let's not kind of waste any more time on that one let's do the last image um so let's just make a selection so nobody exists here now and let's just do uh, man walk in away at night This is a, an image that I shot in uh, Venice alongside one of the canals. This is the last image. We're not going to play anymore, okay, because uh, I'm sure you want to... Wow, okay. He's there, you know, isn't he? So now if we make a selection around... Oh, if we make a selection around him... And we go 
uh, dark leather jacket. That should change that part of the image, I'm guessing. It's done a good job. Wow. Okay, we'll call it there. Um, wow, uh, so that's the generative fill in the Photoshop beta. So uh, just make sure you've updated your beta and uh, have a little play around with it. I'm, I'm sure I'm going to be playing around this for a lot longer, but uh, I think the dog wants to go out for a walk, so I better go. Take care. See you soon.